no, take it off. Looks like the 2.0 autopilot car has received an update. It is now January 26th. Chances are you won't see this till the 27th, but that's just the way life works. Um, anyway, got an update. So hopefully this is the new software for the autopilot. I haven't had any updates for this car since December 6th that have enabled anything with autopilot. It's been other bug fixes. So hopefully this is finally it. Fingers crossed it'd be kind of nice to play with this for a little while. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this update installed. Oh look, there's my car. Uh, let's go ahead and get this update installed and I gotta go work. So let's go ahead and do this. So we will install now. One, two, three, four, five and starting update. So let's go ahead and check back in when it's finished and see what's new. Okay, it is now like five o'clock. Some of us have to work, so yeah. But update is now done. Um, that was my phone. So let's see here. Okay, update succeeded, what's new? So, introducing enhanced autopilot, first phase. Um, you can pause it and read it if you'd like. I'll go a little slower. Forward collision warning down here. And then operating traffic aware cruise control. Uh, beta, like most everything on this. And there's a lot going on here. Let's see, cruising at the speed limit, mm, all that jazz. Low speed auto steer currently does like 45 miles an hour. Uh, actually right there, 45. And just kind of tells you how to use it. A lot of people that have these 2.0 cars may not have had the 1.0 car. So it just wants to go over how to use it how to cancel it, that's an important one. So yeah, looks like it is officially done. Now let's see, so we are on 17.3.15. So that is actually the newest version that was just pushed out starting this morning. So let's take it for a spin and see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and put my GoPro up so you can see exactly what's on the screen right here so put my gopro up there and let's get going we are backing out of the garage so david's gonna drive because i mean it is his car i'm a little jealous though i'd like to drive it my new car won't be here for i don't know two months probably yeah oh maybe six weeks maybe six weeks so i'll have a video coming out probably within a few days that will talk about what my new car will be because there's been some people that have been speculating what I'll do. Uh, originally I had, actually no, I don't wanna tell you what I originally had. Some people think I'm sticking with the 90D with free supercharging. Some people think I'm going with the 100D. Some people thought I'd get a red car with white interior. Um, people thought you'd cancel everything? Some people thought I'd cancel everything, yeah. Some people thought I'd get an X. Um, so it's a surprise, but I'll have a video coming out in a few days that'll tell you what I decided to do, what I went with, why I went with it, probably is the most important thing. But that'll be coming out soon, so make sure you check it out. But let's get back to the drive of Autopilot 2.0. So now we're getting on C470 for those of you that are familiar with Colorado Highways. Uh, David is accelerating. I'll put like the video on here too. Um, so you can now see the lanes. We can see the car in front of him. It does not show cars, or at least currently not showing cars to the left and the right that I've seen yet. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, this is nice. Adaptive cruise control. Oh. That is pretty awesome. Traffic aware cruise control, as they like to call it. Yeah. So yeah, that's just like the current view that we're seeing right now. It's the, uh, if I turn this, what is, oh. Oh yeah, that it does your distance uh, between you and the car in front of you. So here you can see the car in front of us is actually being picked up on the screen, just like Autopilot 1.0 cars. Okay, we screwed up. Auto steer is now on. Oh, it says all this about it's in beta. Hit yes, okay, and now we're good. Okay, slight user error. Let's try this again. 
nerve-wracking the first time. I've never done that before. Trust in Tesla. Focus. Okay, so we couldn't see the error message coming up and we just assumed that it wasn't letting us do it. it turns out the error message was saying you have to enable it and both of us forgot that I don't know, I enabled it on my car like the second I picked it up and haven't touched it since. So there's that. So now we're gonna retry everything that we basically already did. Um, make sure you enable autopilot if you wanna use it. It's a good reminder. But the Yeah, and certainly a good reminder. We just couldn't see because right there, you can see we have the GoPro. It blocks it a little bit. And the traffic aware cruise control is just built you don't, in there. You don't have to, do you don't have to accept anything for that. So that's easy at least. Uh, try double tapping it, let's just see what it says. Oh, well, it says auto steer disabled on this road, so I guess this isn't a good enough highway for it Tesla. Might want like a median, like a uh, grass one or something like that. And so it's not gonna work on Santa Fe, it says auto steer is disabled on this road. So we're gonna go ahead and try 285 again and see if that now works since we enabled auto steer. Oops. Um, if anyone's isn't working, try that. Maybe that's why it's not working. So we're gonna try it there. Hopefully it's a big enough divided highway on that it'll work. Otherwise, we're running low on options right now. Just the way it is. So now we are getting on 285. It is divided with the center median, so maybe this will work a little better than Santa Fe. Oh, well, I see two cars, right? Yeah. Except it can only do two. Yeah, we mine can only do two also. But look at your lanes jumping around. Even though we're oh, stopped. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It looks like they're dancing. But I mean, I haven't seen the, the steering wheel show up at all yet. Well, again, it's divided, but they've got the median. Uh, uh, try it again real quick. Just keep, oh, there it is. <gasps> there it is, guys. <gasps> oh, okay, hit it. Uh, oh, 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 the car oh, is drunk. Oh. Okay, so David's experiencing his first autopilot in his car on 2.0. It's live. Okay, now try to hit it above 45. Okay, speed's restricted to 45. Let's see how it does here. Well, we know it works. So the lanes I can see are still jumping around a bit, but they're not. Nah, they're pretty jumpy. Just kidding. I was gonna say they're not that bad, but they are still pretty jumpy. Okay. Cool, well we finally found a road that'll work. Oh, oh you did that? No, take it off. Oh, no, I did it off. <laughs> okay. Well, cool. Well, now we know what happens when you gun it when you're on autopilot that's restricted to 45 miles an hour. It freaks out at you. All right, just got done with our quick drive. Unfortunately, we were only able to use the autopilot for probably 20, 30 seconds because there aren't a lot of highways right now going 45 and under so we tried that out but hopefully you are at least able to see exactly kind of what it looks like in the current state how did you feel about it it worked it was it was different because i haven't used autopilot since we did the test drive like oh god dang it uh, <laughs> uh, it was it was just take some use getting used to because i haven't done autopilot since we did the test drives so like last aug uh last april yeah. And so, uh, like, you know, we forgot to turn it on for one. And once we got it on, then, hey, it finally showed up. And, but the traffic aware cruise control worked great. It was, uh, you know, take me down to complete stop. And we were right there just on the highway, just uh, close to the house. And it went from 50 and a car basically pulled off on a side road. And they, they uh, the car slowed right down to like 15 miles an hour and sped right back up right after uh, they got up the road. So it was working great mm -hmm. from, you know, 50 down to zero and back up again and at stoplights and everything. So traffic aware con cruise control is great. Autopilot, uh, again, auto steer. Uh, we need to uh, do some more testing on that, but it was working fine. I could feel the steering wheel just moving just slightly whenever I was doing it. But uh, yeah, we'll have to try it again tomorrow and this weekend. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to play with it and give you guys a few more videos. We'll try to find a divided highway because that's where it's working right now. That's not very busy, so we can take it at 45 and see how long we can get it, what kind of nags we're getting, stuff like that. If you wanna save $1,000 off the purchase of a brand new or inventory Tesla, go ahead and uh, check out teslainventory.com, link in the description below. Click on the referral codes on there. Okay, that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed it, 
feel free to subscribe here. We have new videos right here, and I will catch you guys later. Bye. I oh, can't do okay. that. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs>